Hello everyone, this is Mr. Nardelli. I'm here to talk to you about the basis of triangles. Now, a triangle is a polygon that has three sides. If you remember, a polygon is a two-dimensional figure with three or more sides. A triangle is a special one with the prefix tri, meaning three. Now, they can be classified in two ways. So, our first is if we classify a triangle by its number of sides. Our first way to classify it by its sides is called an equilateral triangle. All sides are equal. So it's easy to remember it almost has the word, the prefix equal in it, so equilateral equal sides. Okay, our second one is called an isosceles triangle. Let me scroll this box down some so you can get. Okay, it has two or more equal sides. Now it originates from the Greek language, meaning with equal legs or having two sides. You don't have to know that, but it's good to know. So, by definition, two or more equal sides. So, by definition, an equilateral triangle is a special type of isosceles triangle. And our third type let me scroll this down so you can see them all at the same time, is scaling. And it has no sides equal. And it comes from the Greek word skalinos, which means uneven or equal. So you just have to try to remember that. Equilateral you'll get pretty easily. Isosceles, two, and then scaling's the other one. Okay, now we can also classify triangles by their number of angles. So we have the typical right triangle. It has only one 90 degree angle. Notice it says only one. I couldn't have two other right angles. If I did, it wouldn't be a triangle. Now it's going to have to identify in there that it has the little box showing it's a right triangle or 90 degrees showing it's a right triangle. Our second way to classify by angles is called an obtuse. Now if you remember from before, an obtuse angle is open wide between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. An obtuse person is loud. So an obtuse triangle has only one angle between 90 and 180 degrees. It can't have more than one, otherwise it wouldn't be a triangle. And then my third type that we identify by side excuse me, by angles, is called the acute triangle. Now the acute triangle has three acute angles. Now you need to be careful of these because you, if you'll notice the right triangle does have some acute angles and the obtuse does have acute angles. Notice they're right there. But the acute triangle is the only one that has all three that are less than 90 degrees. Okay. Now we get to the sum of the angle measures in a triangle is always 180 degrees. Any triangle you have, if you add up the angle measures, it will be 180 degrees. So you might have a question like this that says, find the missing angle measure. It gives you two of them, 42 and 85. So we know that the whole thing must be 180. So first we add 85 and 42, we get our 127. So these two angles added together are 127. Now all we have to do is take 180 and subtract 127 and we get the missing degree measure is 53 degrees. If you need anything else feel free to email me at nardelli.efsc at gmail.com. Thanks.